Hello and welcome to me, Sui, checking out Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to it, so I thought it would be fun, especially considering we covered the first Life is Strange game already on the channel. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and look through the settings here. <laughs> I love it, detail mode. Oh, that's funny. Do we have windowed full screen? We don't. Okay. Let's go 144. Uh, or not. Alright, I'll just leave it all as is here. Um, video. Oh, this is what we were just looking at. Audio. It's fine right now. Subtitles are on. That's nice. Um, let's see. Game settings. Everything should be fine. I'll mess with it in game if I need to. Alright. So we will go ahead and start. Oh, there's a start button. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Do not mind me. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a story based game that features player choice. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the world around you. Choose wisely. Ooh, the graphics are a huge step up from, like, normal. I know there's, like, a remastered version now, but I haven't played it. And it's a huge step up from Life is Strange, from what I can see here already. I'm guessing this is Chloe here. Maybe not. The way they stand and stuff doesn't really give Chloe vibes to me. It's Max. That's weird. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. This is so different. What? Can I shoot FOV? Sorry, this is the first thing I see. I'm just like, FOV? No? No. Okay, I'll deal. Okay, this is so different. Oh, interesting. No trespassing? No way. The voice actress is totally different. Are we sure this is the same? Holy shit. Character? What? This seems so weird. Is this really? This place is awesome. If what? I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. This is not the main character I'm used to here. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Her voice was so much higher pitched in the main game. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. It's just such a different voice. Those guys need to get a room. This is really weird. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand really. This is not the max. This is just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. This is not the character we What? This is so weird. Oh, we can graffiti this, okay. Now what to draw? Free candy, I like it. This is just not... Hey kids! Free candy. I'm so confused, this is so far. 
from our character. What? This is so weird. Wait, Chloe? We're playing as Chloe, but she looks like Max. Maybe she is Chloe. But. What? I'm so confused. What? I know it's accurate, Sue Boy. I'm just really confused. I guess I can see it. But she looks more like Max, because, like... What? This is throwing me through a loop. Now the voice acting does make more sense. Yeah, she is, like, way more similar to Max's hairstyle. But I guess it is Chloe? That's so weird. Okay, this does make more sense now. Okay. Oh, so this is, like, after Max left, I think. So we have stuff here. So we have a letter. Dear Max, Dad got me this stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. Tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say because we haven't talked in three months, despite all my calls and texts and not that I'm upset or anything. There's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe the Unfriended. That's more like it. Here, I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll write me back. Huh. Maybe one day when you return home and apologize for forgotten about me and we can make up, I'll show you this and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that journal Max is way cooler than reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Okay, ready. So mom suggests to him a trip next summer and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David. The one be drill sergeant who swooped in on mom and is stuck around like a bad zit. David, the mustache monster from planet... Stupid. That David. Anyway, I politely suggested to mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then. We're breathing. Hey, stuff happens. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she got some serious self-esteem issues and I got some serious self-immolation plans. She can do better, that's all I meant. But she didn't want to hear it. Like, I'm the a-hole. Her drawing is cool, though. So you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like, you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story, I had a trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't- I just didn't show up, and it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invisible all of a sudden. Or invincible. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. Wish I'd figure this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from Blade Runner popped into my head. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that just goes to the beginning. So she's Chloe, an inmate at Blackwell Academy, serving a four-year sentence for crimes against maternity. That made my mom Joyce, who seems endlessly disappointed in me. Which, I get it. I'm no one's image of a perfect daughter, or student, or anything, really. But who wants to be perfect? I'm surrounded all day by so-called perfection. It sucks. The things that suck. Mom's new drill sergeant boyfriend, David, who... How hard it is to buy weed around here, having no friends, hypocrites... Uh, country music, people say, chillax, die being dead. It's been two years since he died in a car crash, and I still think about him all the time. I've been having these weirdly lifelike dreams. Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something. Other times, I remember that he's feeding worms in a ditch right now, and anything else is just a fairy tale to make myself feel better. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this town. The pen I use to tag any and everything I want, and my shining personality. If I work at it, maybe I can leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know it's been rough since dad died. Money's tight, her job as a waitress at diner isn't exactly glamorous, and I'm clearly not about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot or when I skip out to go catch an awesome show, it's somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going postal on everyone. She used to be this way when dad was around. 
she would be actually cool. But lately, she's awful. Oh, but lately there's this awful person she led into the house that's messing everything up. David Madsen, a jobless, brainless dude uh, who's from the military and a promise to whip me into shape. I have tried to express these concerns to my mom, yet every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is the kind of disease that kills its host. Okay, we got Max Caulfield, MIA best friend, ex-best friend extraordinaire. This artsy girl loves photography more than life itself and definitely more than me. She even uses old Insta cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? When we were kids, we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and draw and write these stupid comics where we had powers and saved people and stuff. Then my dad died, and her dad got some job up north, and she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most, and she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on everyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she has hab habitually ignored my texts so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know, deep down, that she doesn't care about me anymore, and she probably has all new friends in Seattle. I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, hey Chloe, wanna dress up like pirates and be stupid together? I'd take her back in a heartbeat. That's cute. All right, and so we're talking about uh, dad here, I guess. If I have a nickel bag for every time, a guidance counselor or therapist tried to get me to write stuff about dad over the last couple of years, I'd never have to buy a weed from Frank again. I guess they think it helps me cope with my feelings or whatever, as if a few paragraphs about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered to the underside of a semi-truck. And what am I supposed to write anyway? That he was a perfect dad who was always fun to be around and never angry, they treated me like an equal, that he was constantly working to make our lives better, that he could make me laugh even when I was being awful. That he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy. That his barbecue grill is still rusting in the backyard because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful it's easier for mom and me just to pretend neither of us notices it. That's coping and coping can... Alright, and then that's her again. Okay. Oh, and we have text here too, Max. Aww, there's a bunch sent to her. So sorry I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Well, and these are days apart too. Ugh, sorry again. I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries, I'll check my dance card. It's 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What is it, 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, queen, queen of the crickets, what's the latest? Max. Oh, that's horrible. Then Frank. He is in uh, the other game. He was like, wasn't he the... Drug dealer? Yeah, your stuff's here. Hell yeah. But tapped out, sorry. You're lost. Hey, you can hold it for me for a day, can I? I'm your favorite customer, are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe me. You can't have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. Um, you deal the drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on, it's 420. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Ugh, brain check. And Elliot, I don't know who this is. Oh, is it... Oh, it's just a friend that we do not know about yet. Spanish just sucked. Lucky if I passed. Oh, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What you up to? Not much. Got stuff to do later. Okay. Interesting. When we have mom. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Can we be coming home at some point though? Oh no. That was 5-6. And our current... Okay, I don't know what the date is right now. We'll find out. There's a dog kennel here. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. A second door inside. So close, and yet so far.
This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Okay, this makes more sense knowing this is Chloe. Because I was so confused when I thought this was Max. I was just like, this is just not who Max is. Some say the world will end in fire. This is actually really cool now that I figured out who I am. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Alright. So, we're gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys for hanging out, watching this first episode we're gonna be continuing with more of course and yeah if you guys liked it let me know what you've been thinking like this video subscribe to me here on youtube and go follow me over on twitch i stream there four days a week thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode